Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Cliff here. Uh, so we're going to continue with the Da Vinci Flyer biplane build. So today I'm going to fit the wings into some little boxes which I have to make and make up the wingtip struts. Um, so yeah, let's get on with it and see how we get on. Cheers guys. If you're enjoying the channel uh, and you're not subscribed, hit the little subscribe button or better still, if you want to join, be a member, even better, check out the perks. Okay, so I've got the plywood struts made up and so now I can glue the little receivers on the top wing. Uh, all I've got to do now is to make the boxes for the centre wing and cover them. Uh, I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, Jeff in Lower Alabama just made a comment. He thought that maybe the gap was a bit big between the wings. Um, yeah, I think you may be right, Jeff. But it's too late now. <laughs> they won't interfere with each other, that's for sure. Um, I could lower them another inch by putting those, cutting some new slots in the bottom there and moving them up a little bit. I've got a little bit of wood there that would do and then tr trim the bottom off but to be honest I mean it won't make it fly any difference Jeff just aesthetically it might look a little bit better but once it's in the air <laughs> if it gets that far who knows what it's going to look like <laughs> thinking of cap strips Frederick um, Volksenflieger it would improve the looks of it these ribs would be a little bit it would have to sort of twist down and around um, not impossible but uh, they'd have to just seeing as I haven't I've got lead and edge sheeting they would just have to sort of merge into the lead and edge a little bit could look quite nice uh, doesn't need it uh, and Mike Parker yeah it is a, a real beauty really I think she's beautiful anyway and furball good old furball I know you love it I'm just working on the um, mounting now for the locating pins here to line up that has to be pulled in at the back like that but the front one I've just glued in um, some eight inch ply slightly angled to match the angle of the wings. And I've got two little plates, which are gonna epoxy on the top like that, one at the top, one at the bottom. Then I'll pin them together and they'll pull into the angle. I always put a little dot in the corner of whatever piece I'm working on, just in case it gets um, sort of dropped and you wonder which way up it went. Doesn't have to be a pencil dot, it can be a dot just a little dot from the scalpel, if you know what I mean, a pin prick. Pop that in there like that. When, the, when that's dry, I'll pop the wings back on and build the box for that one. All good fun, all good fun. Okay, um, what I've done then is I've glued in the little front and back. I've made it one eighth, and I've just made some one sixteenth ply cap top and bottom to box it off. So what I'm going to do is to glue that in. I'm not going to glue it in with that in place though, so I'm going to get the wings out. So I'll just pop these off again. Okay, that's the pegs in. Just make sure all the grooves and slots is nothing easing out from the inside. I think that will do then. So we'll let that set off and then we can come back and offer the wings back in and make certain any little changes we want to make. I thought it would be rather fun to add a bit of a shape to this and at the same time strengthen it up. 
what might be nice to have an oval in the middle of it. So I'm just going to drill it out and dremel it into shape. outside it's going to make a lot of dust. Had a choice, do I glue it in flush with the top, flush with the bottom or halfway? I think I'm going to go flush with the top and that goes that way around so it tapers and it's going to be flush with the top. So I'm going to put that there and there, that's it, done. So I've just offered a wing in and it looked rather nice. I think there's yellow going into that. And I suddenly thought I could cover that with yellow. That would be a funny shape, but I could um, put a baby a block, a bit of, you know, a little block of wood there, each end to cover down onto it. And that could be sort of an extension of the wing then and look quite deliberate. So that's what I'm gonna do. And we'll let that set. And we can give it a nice shaping round, same with the front. Okay, there we are. Just been out and sanded the front edge and the back edge. I'm happy with that. I can cover that with yellow film and it will um, sort of key it all in together a bit. I'll come down a bit because the wing comes around in a swoop. Yeah. And then I'm going to stain the rest. So I'm going to put the stain on now. And then I can cover it down onto it. Yeah, quite nice. Okay, and now it's ready to offer up to the model, and we'll see how it all looks. I think that's come out really well, actually. Look at that. <laughs> ah, yes. It's nice to make a feature or something. It's nice. It sort of picks up the theme of the ribs being lightened. It is plywood after all, so it's worth cutting out. Whew. I'm loving it. I really am. That looks nice. But for the minute, I'm going to stop there and put a little update picture on the community tab. I'm going to put an undercarriage on it. I think it needs it. it. Won't be terribly practical where I fly from, but it might help. It'll certainly look nice anyway. I've got ply plate in there. Probably only need two, but I'll put three in anyway. I have two small bits of ply, one there, one a little bit further back, and that leaves a gap wide enough for two pieces of wire. It's quite light wire, quite flexible, but I got an idea which I'll show you later. So I have one piece of wire there and it bends 90 degrees down into a hole and comes along and then splays out for the undercarriage leg. And same likewise, so you've got another piece of wire going along and splays out and then the whole lot's held in place with um, either a pair of saddle clamps or one piece of ply screwed down or a piece of fiberglass plate. Anyway, just to retain it. Still haven't decided on the wheels yet. Now I want to make up some fairings to go on the back of the um, legs. So I'm going to go away and draw some and I'll show you in a minute. They are quite nice, I think, what I've got in mind. Here's my fairing shape. Um, I've got a series of little holes I've drilled down just stuck it on with CA, so I'm going to stitch the fairing onto the wire. And I've just made a start here, got to handle it carefully because say it is only, I think I might put a double one through there. It is only uh, 
CA'd on and it could get knocked off. A little clumsy handling, so I'll put a double stitch there and just work my way up and possibly back down again if I've got enough enough thread. But this is how Leonardo would have done it. All these little details add to the whole uh, appearance, doesn't it? You know. When now I've stitched it on, I'm going to just run CA all over that, and that will make it really solid. Still not sure what I'm going to do with the wheels that yet, though. Oh dear, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Okay, I'll have to stop there and carry on. But you see, you get the idea, don't you? It's looking pretty good. And there it is all stitched on looking really nice really nice I'll do the other one and then I can spray them clear lacquer so I've just posted a little picture on the community tab of the two fairings uh, on the carriage leg fairings so I guess you're going to know what it's for there's the undercarriage legs pretty strong pretty flexible they're probably going to bend, but easy to bend back, but they're not going to break out. That's the thing. Right. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Let's have a look at it. Let's have a look. <laughs> look at that. Isn't it's going to look absolutely amazing. If it flies, have faith, Cliff, have faith. I've cut out my 16th discs and I've beveled the inside edge here to like to, to accept the tire. Right, that's number two done. How are we looking then? So there we are. Uh, a little bit of CA to hold the tires and the axles are in. So I'll just give them a quick fizz over with a bit of clear lacquer, matte and then I can mount the wheels. That's what it's having. <laughs> I have a wing sanded. I have covering arrived. So I'm going to cover them with this uh, material. And as usual, I'm going to start with the underneath and work my way around to the um to the top so you saw me do the other wing on the earlier video so there's no point in you watching me do it all again so i'll switch off here and i'll come back to you when it's looking lovely welcome back two covered wings uh, the yellow is a little bit different but nobody will notice well we will but there you go so just going to put them on as you see they're a little bit different but hey ho <laughs> oops phone always goes when you're least expecting it so there we are the wings are on the struts are in hello she's ready for test flight I'll see you in the next video, which hopefully will be a flying video. Cheers.